Hello, hello, and welcome to the first championship round of season one of the Short Track Stampede. Here we will be racing at the Half Mile Empire Murder Drone in New York, a very fast high, high banked oval with pit lane on the outside, which is rather unusual. Now, of course, as we enter the championship proper, we will now have multiple races a weekend, consisting of two heats. A spanner final of sorts, a B main if you will, and of course the final race. First off, before we head into heat number one, let's take a look at how qualifying ended up. Now very dominant from the board, seven of them at the top ten. Ronan Erdos is the fastest with a 14.76 ahead of Manny Royceston, John Brinker, John Tudor, and Marcus Dixon rounding out the top five, and then Pedersen, Hogan, Tully, Stanton, and D'Angelo. And at the top 10. Now, the heats are determined by your qualifying position. Odd numbered results go into the first heat, and even numbered results go into the second. So, our top five starters in heat one will be Erdos, Sprinko, Station, Hogan, and Stanton. Let's take a quick look. At the rest of the quality positions, we I'm not going to say all of them. You can pause and have a look, look if you want. And now, let us switch over to the main broadcast. Let us press continue here and we will Drivers to your cars. get underway momentarily. I need to actually hop in first. All right now we're good. Drivers to your cars. Now, if we get the time to go through the grid, it is of course Erdos Sprinker, Dixon Hogan, Twenty One of Erica Stanton, then Audrey Levine. 44 of Sigmund Hill, the 76 of Matthias Passerini, Jamie Ambrose, and rounding out the top 10, it is, I believe, the 42 of Beckett Nielsen. There he is. So. Twenty five laps. This will be over in a jiffy if we don't have any cautions. But let's see how this goes. The green flag is out and we are under and the 44 doesn't get off the line at all. Does that cause an incident? Yes, it has and the yellow is out immediately. Walsh will lace back to the flag here. Erdos will get a quick lead. Alright, no yellow. How is that not a yellow? That's... I suppose they got it cleared off in time, but that's still very weird. So now I guess Erdos gets off to a trick lead. He leads Brinker, and then he's got Stixon, Hogan, Passerini, and then a trick battle going on with Levine and Wilson. Akara sits back and watches. A beneficiary from that start, I believe, by virtue of. A line not being held up, and now the 14 of Ashley Beck is going to the inside here. Now, although I believe the outside line can be slightly quicker, but you've got to be wary because if you slip too wide, you end up in the pit exit or pit entry, which can be a very nasty collision. You don't want to end up there at all. If you go ahead onto that pit wall, you'll probably be out for the weekend, if not longer. But yeah, here we see Erdos pulling away. That's going to be a hard gap to... for Brinker to catch up to, but he doesn't necessarily need to do that. I believe I forgot to mention, top 8 of both heats go through, so... Let's look at our positions here, we're going the wrong way. So at the moment, everyone from my car up will automatically qualify for the final. Everyone behind that 8th position will go into the 75 lap last shot where I where it's 
I believe the top 24 from that race go through. So the final will be 40 laps. Not 40 laps, 40 drivers. It's 200 laps. So last eight in the last shot will not make it through. That, one of those cars was running up very high there. Was that Dixon from the number three? Or it was the 80? It was a grey car, I believe. I've already no incident caused. Take a look at the... See what sort of battle is going on here. It looks like they've managed to go single file. Not for long as Baker tries to go up the outside of Van Willigan, but... Can't hold the momentum there. And I tell a lie earlier, I believe it's the middle line that appears to be faster, though you can make certainly make the outside work as well. As Baker very nicely demonstrates it for us, and Van Milligan may be held up to dry here. Yeah. Actually, went very tight at turn four, he's lost no momentum. Has he got an issue? What was the. Just losing so much momentum on that inside line. So that's going to let Ambrose through now, the troll of Machina Porto. Also goes through and Dixon will also try to overtake his teammate. And will do so with ease. Yeah, he's just being hard to drive there. And I think it's the line because you can see, I believe that's the 11 of Jesse Larkin behind too. Also struggling for pace on that inside. If you can't get back to that line, it's not easy for you. Tobias Wolfgang ends off the queue of 23 cars now. As Hill, I believe, is at retirement. We'll have to. We'll have to go and back and look what happened there. We'll get there eventually. Yeah, so what's happened? I've gone to start and then he's so far revved the engine or something, just blown up and the 88 has actually hit the back of him. So I've to say, Wolfgang's actually made a very good effort to get back into the back of the train, but... That damage not really phasing all that much, but that is going to be a massive setback to him. He will have to go through the last shot probably. Not probably. Race. At the rear of the grid as well. You'll have to hope to not get caught up in any wrecks, but so far it's been rather clean. That's some decent battle as fourth game moves past Ad Meeperson. And the 11 of Larkin will also try to get back through. Meeperson's stuck on the inside, he's just gone nowhere. This race will track up through the grid. That's Benjamin Cyrus going on the inside of our car. He will lose all his momentum, but maybe be able to slot back in line? No, nope. Baker goes around the outside, but we will move on from there as Erdos rounds turns three and four and takes a clear victory in heat one. Following him is Brinkus, Dixon, Hogan, Passerini, Nielsen, Levine, and Aikawa. They round up the top eight. They will go to the final automatically. Everyone below, well, I have to scrap it out on the last shot. This also means Erdos will start on pole as well for the main heat. So let's head here. These are your official results.
As mentioned, Erdos ahead of Brinker, Stigson, Hogan, and Passerini rounds up your top five, and everyone from Bacon below will have to go through to the last shot. Unfortunate start for Sigmund Hill, the engine just deciding to not go at the start, like, the moment he puts his foot down, it just goes kaboom. Listed as accident, which isn't quite correct, but the DNF's a DNF, what is listed as doesn't matter too much, really. So, that is Heat 1 with the kickoff. Heat 2 will be coming in just a moment. Don't forget to stick around for that. <laughs> 